Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a look for you that is going to include an empty wing eyeliner. So this is something I've seen pop up on the internet a couple times where they either fill the wing in with a different color or they just leave it open. So today I'm going to be doing the version where you leave it open and I'm also going to be addressing some comments that I've recently gotten. So let's get so started. To start off the whole look, I did put on some primer and some tinted moisturizer and a little bit of brow mascara. You can see they're a little bit more fluffy than they usually are. And I'm going to put 8-track from ColourPop on my lid. And it's just kind of this goldy, um, kind of green color. So I'm just going to put that on with my finger. So like I said in the beginning, I'm going to be addressing some comments and we might as well start now. Um, one of the comments that I've gotten in the past is why do I use so many ColourPop products? And it's because one, a lot of people know I like the brand. So when they get me gifts, they will get me little ColourPop sets. Um, and two... They're super affordable, and honestly, I am obsessed with them. I love the texture of the shadows. Don't mind that little smudge. We'll fix it. Um, I love the texture of the shadows, but, you know, I just think they're a quality brand. They're cruelty-free, and they have fun colors, and that combo is kind of hard to find between cruelty-free, affordable, and really fun colors. So, that is basically why I use ColourPop all the time. Um, but one of the other comments I've gotten before is why don't you, like, do your hair for your videos? Um, you know, why don't you curl it? Why don't you braid it? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? One of the reasons I don't do a lot with my hair is because it is so super thin. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys have seen it in a bun. You've seen it in a ponytail. Like, it is thin. Thin. And it's not from coloring it or dyeing it. Because a lot of people said when I dyed my hair black, my hair would fall out. But I haven't had that problem. Um, I got it professionally done. I didn't get it, uh, you know, in a box color or anything. I got professionally done. But it's because I lost a lot of hair two or three years ago now three years ago, I think, three or four years ago, and I, it never grew back. Um, and I think I've addressed it before. I lost hair to stress, and I was just going through some stuff at the time. So, of course, there's a cloud in front of the sun now. Um, that's why that occurred. I'm just gonna blend the edges out with my beauty blender, because that seems to be the easiest thing here. I'm patting away a little mistakes. Um, so yeah, I, I don't like putting heat on it because it breaks off. I don't like, you know, putting it in tight styles that kind of damage it. I will clip my extensions in from time to time, but that's rare. Um, so yeah, there's addressing that. Now I'm going to start on the wing. I'm going to take this little rock eyeliner in Blackberry. And it's not black, it is purple, as you guys can see. But this has the best ever little uh, liner, brush, tip, whatever you want to say. I don't think it's a brush, I think it's kind of like a foam tip. But we're going to do the wing. And you guys will see how I do it over here. So I'm going to start with just the normal liner on my eye. I can't really talk much during this part. There we go. Okay, so I just start with a basic thin line. And then you're going to take the wing as far out as you want it very carefully. And when you connect it back, you're going to go down. I need a little more product. But you can kind of see it taking shape right now. Okay. 
So now I'm just going to clean up the tip of the wing so that it's nice and connected. I'm just going back over the lines so that it is even. And I'm not filling in where it connects to my eye, but I'm going to connect it a little bit more so it's not so square. So now it goes all the way across my eye. Okay, so that's how that looks. I'm going to do the other eye. But while I do that, I'm going to talk about some other stuff. Um, what was some of the other things I got? Oh, why I've been using tinted moisturizer so much instead of foundation. Um, I know a lot of people prefer foundation. Um, maybe they prefer tinted moisturizer. It just depends on the coverage I want. When you're doing makeup every day for 100 days and you have acne prone skin, Using tinted moisturizer just makes more sense to me, especially when I'm filming multiple times a day. I don't have to take off all the foundation. Like, taking off the moisturizer is much easier on my skin than having to use, like, a makeup remover balm or a, you know, a cleansing wipe all the time, you know, whatever, and washing my face over and over again. It's just a lot on the skin and I've noticed with this tinted moisturizer I have not had as many blackheads I haven't had as many you know breakouts I mean I have one every now and then but nothing like I used to have okay there are our empty wings this product's getting dried out a little bit so it's kind of so here's how the wings look and of course you can clean them up I'm gonna thicken the end of this one just a tad so that's a little more even um but yeah I mean when it comes to my channel I like it to be as laid back and natural as possible because I see a lot of channels and it seems like what they're doing is so unattainable it's like oh you know they have all these extensions and they have all this makeup and it's so expensive and I can't do that and that's one of the things that held me back from starting YouTube and then I kind of started it as a hobby and now it's become something that I want to grow and create. Do I ever think I'm going to get to be as big as like Casey Holmes and be working with Smashbox? No. Like do I think I'm going to work with Becca? No. But can I work with smaller companies and maybe help them and they can help me? Like yeah. I think I can do that. And I've already done that. So oh I'm using an Ulta gel eyeliner in aqua on my waterline this is like my favorite gel eyeliner um but it's a really pretty like aqua color it looks really good on the eyes but i mean i don't think that you know people have said it before that if you know what you're doing and you you know enjoy it and stuff and you can only afford cheap makeup products like you should still do it because there is a market for everything honestly at this point this probably looks really creepy to you guys huh this eye is just a little bit more sensitive than this one so i like to um kind of open it up a little bit more so i'm gonna move up a little bit can you see it so the wings are like this you could definitely fill it in with this liner i've done that before this is just a really nice eyeliner uh ulta has some really good ones so i'm gonna grab a mascara okay so i have my mascara now i had to go grab it this is just the Clinique one. I'm just going to brush it on. I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild one in Think Pink. It's kind of a nude pink. You guys can see that there. Uh, this is matte, by the way. I think I'm going to use this Hello Kitty one in Fun with Friends. And it's a ColourPop product, but it's kind of like metallic-y. I like it. So I'm just going to put this on my cheeks using Honeymoon Highlighter from ColourPop. It's kind of like a silvery, metallic-y color. I really love this highlight. It looks, this highlight I highly recommend if you're going to a concert because the lighting that they use when it hits you, like if you're in the crowd and you're taking pictures, you literally just glow and it's gorgeous. A little bit on my nose. I have a doctor's appointment after this, and they're going to be like, what is wrong with this girl? I'm going to put a little bronzer on because I am still sunburned. 
this sunburn is not helping, is it? Let me get into the actual sun. It looks a little odd here. I'm just trying to like even it into my hairline. But I think that's enough of my crazy rambling. I showed you how to do an empty wing. Looks really good when my eyes closed. Looks kind of weird when my eyes open. Oh well. But yeah, that is how you do this. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was actually a pretty quick look. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another video.